What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're just going to be going over the top three mods that I think you should do to your Subaru Crosstrek. These are in no particular order, but these would be the first three things that I do if I'm starting a new build. All right, so let's jump right in. First off is tires and rails. Upgrading your tires is that foundation of any overland build. All-terrain tires offer a great balance of on-road comfort and off-road traction, making them a popular choice for many builds. I went with the Falcon Wild Peaks, but BF Goodrich also makes a fantastic set. However, if you plan on tackling more serious off-road terrain or mud terrain, uh, mud terrain tires are the way to go. They excel in mud, rocks, and loose surfaces. But for my build, all-terrain tires were really all I needed. Now, when choosing tires, consider factors like tread pattern, sidewall height, and the load rating. Uh, higher load rating will give you better off-road performance, and it's essential for carrying heavy loads. Now, the second mod, and probably my favorite, is a lift kit. A lift kit is essential for increasing ground clearance and improving the cross-tracks approach and departure and breakover angles. This allows you to tackle obstacles with more confidence. Now, there are two main types of lift kits, spacer lifts and curl over lifts, uh, spring lifts. Choosing the lift kit, consider factors like desired lift height, spring rate, and shock quality. A higher lift height will give you more ground clearance, but can also affect handling and ride quality. I ended up going with the spacer lift. It's the more affordable option. And since I do not plan on doing a ton of crazy off-roading, it suits my needs perfectly. Just remember to do your research on both to see what will fit your personal needs the best. There are pros and cons to each, so I'll kind of go over those. Spacer lifts are a budget-friendly option, and they're very easy to install. However, they reduce suspension travel and increase stress on the CV joints and affect the handling. Spring lifts offer improved suspension performance, increased ground clearance, and better articulation are more expensive and complex to install. They provide, a, they provide a superior overall package. Now, like I said, I went with the spacer lift. I don't do much, much off-roading, so I know it's perfect for me and it still gives it that mean rugged look. The one thing I do wish I would have did different was went with smaller wheels so that I could have went with a bigger tire size, but you know, maybe next time. Now, Mod 3 is underbody protection. Protecting your car strips undercarriage is crucial for overland adventurers or off-road adventurers. Rocks, logs, and other obstacles can cause serious damage to your vehicle if you're not careful. Underbody protection, also known as skid plates, comes in various materials and designs. You got your steel skid plates. These are the most durable option, but can be heavy. Then aluminum skid plates, which is what I went with. These are lighter and offer good protection. And then plastic skid plates uh, usually come stock in the vehicle. They're the most affordable, but offer less in protection. Like I said, my personal suggestion is going with the aluminum skid plates. They are lightweight, strong enough to protect your undercarriage from whatever you may come across. Now consider the terrain you'll be encountering when choosing underbody protection. For mid-off-roading, plastic skid plates might suffice. But for more challenging and technical trails, steel or aluminum skid plates are recommended. Now, there are three skid plates you're going to want to get. Your first one is the front one, and this covers your oil pan and anything up front, really. So this will save you from puncturing a hole in the oil pan and save you a ton of money in the long run. Then your second one will be your mid one. And this covers the transmission. So this will protect you from putting a hole in your transmission or denting it really bad or anything like that. Then your last one. And your last one, it's kind of hard to see, but it's going to be covering your rear differential. So this will just make sure everything, all the main components, so this will just make sure all the main components on your undercarriage are protected. So if you do go on a rocky or bumpy trail, you don't you have the extra peace of mind to know that everything's protected. I wanted to give y'all a fourth bonus mod, but lights. You know, especially if you're going to be on these trails at night, get some type of lights, whether it's front lights on a light bar or 
huge light bar at the top or even ditch lights. This will make your night drive so much easier on the trails. And there's usually so many budget options out there and even a cheap set is better than no set at all. As always, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Overland content. And let me know in the comments what mods you've done to your cross track and if you have any questions for mine. All right, have a good day. Happy adventuring.